Hi everybody, and this is your girl Lala. Yes, I'm using the black and white filter again because I think I had a great feel to it. But this is dedicated to all my wrestling fans out here. Uh, I am coming back with another segment of Wrestling Tea. Now, as everybody heard, um, this Sunday that just passed, three WWE former wrestling stars have passed away. Um, Brian Lawler, which is Jerry the King Lawler's son, known as Grandmaster Sexy. Um, Hall of Famer Nikolai Volkov and Brickhouse Brown. All three of them passed on Sunday from, you know, everybody is, all the superstars are out there, you know, placing their condolences, saddened, um, all prayers out to their families and also to, um, their friends as well to, cause it's very shocking that you have three wrestlers die on the same day. Like, that's scary. And to me, that's like a saying, like everything comes in threes. So that's one right there. And um, my condolences to all the families of the Lawler family, the Volkov family, the Brown family as well. Um, prayers up. Now, another segment I do want to talk about is, and this was announced this past Monday, it is going to be an all women's pay-per-view in October. Um, that is my month, by the way. Um my birthday month October 28th that's when we're gonna have an all women's pay-per-view if I, that's 28th if I'm not mistaken um called evolution we're talking about Smackdown live raw war women's championships on the line hell even NXT championship is on the line so if Shayna Baszler is still champion after takeover sweetheart you need to watch your back um also, and the same thing goes for Alexa Bliss and um, Carmella. If all three of y'all remain champion, watch your backs. Because there are probably some women lurking around the corner wanting to snatch those titles up. Then you got that 50 women battle royal. Woo! So we're talking people from NXT, women from Raw, women from SmackDown Live. You got even former Dirty E superstars. So I know... Hopefully, I'll see this again. Um, Lita and Trish, I think, for some reason, I have a feeling they're going to be there. And then you have the Bella Twins. You know who I'm dying to see? And I know everybody's going to look at me weird and they're going to be like, oh, this is not going to happen. But hey, a girl could dream. I wouldn't mind seeing Melina, even though there was some speculation backstage that she had a little attitude. She was being a little diva-ish. I would love to see her in the ring. I would love to see how AJ Lee in the ring. I promise you, everybody's going to lose their minds if them two was back in the ring. Um, and granted, both can wrestle. They both can wrestle. So I, I wouldn't mind seeing that. Now, in the 50 women battle world, I don't know, for some reason, I want to see these women duke it out if it's like coming down to them or there's like a, a certain part right there. Most likely, I know word is Bianca Belair is injured, but I think she's good now. I would want to see her, Bianca Belair, Charlotte, and Lacey Evans, like all three of them go at it in the ring. These women are powerhouses. Then you have a second set of powerhouses where it's um, Tamina. I wonder if she's still injured or not. Hopefully she's not. Hopefully she's better. Tamina, Beth Phoenix, and Nia Jax. Those are, that's another set of powerhouses right here. And then, for some reason, if those two don't work out, I want to see Ronda Rousey and Charlotte go at it. That will be the bomb.com. So I'm excited for the women's evolution, the um, women's pay per view called Evolution. Another thing I want to be, I am excited for is the Ming Young Classic, um, that is going to happen later on this year. They are bringing back women who was there before, which that's good because that saves them the, a lot of time to be like search for this girl, search for that girl. No, 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 no. They're smart because majority of the girls they're bringing back is either still signed to WWE or. And also were in the Mae Young Classic from last year, so that's good. Then you have women from overseas are coming in to, you know, stake their claim that of what they did for, you know, just put put another like a, a, a how do you say another stamp 
of their line of work of wrestling. Then you have women who are in NXT right now. They're going to be there too, so that's good. Um, another one that I was shocked when I found this out, but you know, hopefully WWE signs her again. I found out Caitlyn was coming back. If y'all did not know Caitlyn, Caitlyn was the winner of NXT like a few years ago. She was the winner and she was the Divas Champion. Um, her and AJ Lee had this like crazy storyline. I think they're still friends. Now she is back. I hope WWE re-signs her. Even though, yeah, she got alterations and everything like that, but she still looks good. So, wish her the luck. Wish her speedy luck. Um, so excited for that. Then, another situation that came across, like, my social media is this big-ass beef on Twitter between Roman Reigns and Tama Tonga. For some reason, I tried to look. I swear to God, I tried to look to see where this beef started. Um, if you guys know what I'm talking about, if you follow Roman Reigns, if you follow Tama Tonga, one of the both, they're going at it like, you know, I'm the big dog, you ain't shit. This, they're just going straight back and forth, back and forth on Twitter. So nobody doesn't know where that beef came from. Um, so it's a little messy. It's a little, it's like, oof, a mess. Um, then we have, let's see what else is going on in the WWE world. We have the beef. Ready to discuss that, discuss that. Then we have Evolution, the Mae Young Classic, the three devs. Now, this, this is just one, and this is just my opinion. Please don't get mad, everybody. Please, please, please. Okay, I'm glad Brock Lesnar is, you know, hopefully he drops the title, the Universal title, SummerSlam, but why against Roman Reigns? That doesn't make any sense, because we was this close of getting Bobby Lashley and Brock Lesnar go at it, because everybody in social media, even Bobby Lashley said it, like, he could have a picture of him and his kids, and somebody would put in the comments, we want you and Brock Lesnar to go at it. So, why they can't just give the fans what they want? Get Bobby Lashley and Brock Lesnar in the ring. That doesn't make no sense. That will sell a lot of seats. To be honest, I am not looking forward to see Brock Lesnar and Roman Marines go back at it again. Unless by the grace of God, because if I'm not mistaken, Braun Strowman and Kevin Owens are supposed to go at it for the money in the bank. I don't care who wins that match. There needs to be a cash-in. I'm sorry, because... Roman Reigns, they gave Roman Reigns so many freaking tries, and they just straight put him down in the gutter like he's some herb. So it's it's annoying. It's getting tiring. And, I mean, thank God brought Lesnar maybe, you know, dropping the title because how you, how Raw is going to have a champion, a WWE champion, a universal champion, but my man's is not there? That doesn't make no sense at all. But this is all I have. For um, Wrestling Tea, comment down below how you guys feel about the three deaths that occurred Sunday among the three um, three WWE former superstars. Also, whereas how you guys feel about the Evolution pay-per-view in October, the Mae Young Classic. Um, also, how you guys feel about Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns going at it again at SummerSlam. Comment down below and also make sure you like and comment and subscribe if you are subscribed thank you so much if you're not getting notifications make sure your notifications are turned on if you are new to my channel make sure you subscribe and turn on my, your notifications till then you guys have an awesome day bye so i just got an alert from bleacher report that nikki it's finally over. Um, John Cena, like, it's officially over. I thought it was over already after WrestleMania. Matter of fact, I thought it was over, like, after they tried it. Like, after WrestleMania, that don't make no sense. And then they come back and say, oh, they're trying to work things out. Child, I'm over it. It's not that deep. It is what it is. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Till then, y'all have an awesome day.